Who is the rudest celebrity you've ever met? About 10 years ago I worked for an airline and some flights were cancelled. Due to weather. I got a call and this lady said. I can't believe this is happening to me. I'm a celebrity. My name is Tova Felcher. I'm a celebrity. She literally said this 20 times. I got a manager on the line while she begrudgingly went on hold and relayed the info and that this was a celebrity. I stayed on the line while the manager had to explain that the flight's cancellation was for everyone's safety and nothing could be done about this. She was so rude. After we got off the phone with her we looked her up and she was in a couple episodes of Law and Order. I think. She was recently on Walking Dead and I freaked out when I recognized her name in the opening credits. Anytime she appeared on screen I had to say. She's a celebrity. I can't believe the zombie apocalypse is happening to her. She's a celebrity. William Shatner said he would give me an autograph in Hawaii when I was about 10. He said Oslom get a pen. Got in his limo and drove off. Bam Marjorie showed up in Seattle once to film an episode. Talked a lot of shti to the wrong local skater. I watched Bam get knocked out by said local. One of the funniest things I have ever seen. I haven't met many but Lenny Kravitz stayed at the hotel I worked at. He had the hotel sign an agreement that the staff were not to look at him or talk to him. Snoop Dogg was cool. He left a bunch of booze and weed behind in his suite. The housekeepers got a bunch of top shelf hooch and weed after he left. I'm usually too inarticulate to talk to celebrities. I did stay in a hotel room next to Mark Wahlberg over 10 years ago. He and his friends, comma were extremely loud. And listed to 80s rock music all night and never slept. It wasn't rude. Exactly. Just annoying. Alec Baldwin held an elevator door for me once and was the only celeb I've encountered to acknowledge my existence. So he was the nicest by default. I was in Las Vegas airport on a layover. I was reading Give Me the Damn Ball by Keyshawn Johnson. I was 14 or 15 at the time. Behind me at the airport convince store? Keyshawn Johnson. 14 year old me is super excited. He just signed with the Cowboys and I was a huge Dallas fan. I quietly said I'm a big fan. And I'm reading your book from behind big sunglasses he looks at me and says leave me the FCK alone. I was crushed. In a moment of hate I screamed at Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Keyshane Johnson and walked away. By contrast I watched a Packers Vikings game with Mike Ditzka at JFK airport and he was awesome. My parents often tell the story of when we met James Spader at a Mexican restaurant. At the time I was a baby and, as babies do, I picked up a chip and handed it behind me to James Spader. He then looked up confused and said in his James Spader voice that baby handed me a chip. To be fair it wasn't rude. We would all be confused if strange babies tried to hand us chips. Eric Roberts was a guest at a small local comic convention. Thought it would be cool to get a signed pic of him as the master. He pretended people weren't there until they paid his manager 50 bucks. My wife's parting shot as we walked away. Loved your work on Celebrity Rehab. My sister once saw Burt Reynolds at an airport. And he wouldn't even co-sign her mortgage. Randy Jackson. He was invited to a telethon hosted by a hospital for children with severe disabilities. Where my little sister lived until she passed away. Whenever the cameras were off. He would hide in his hotel room and seem disgusted with the kids. Didn't want anything to do with them. When the cameras were on though. He was all smiles and hugs. It was so disheartening and disappointed. Almost 10 years ago and I still remember it so clearly. My dad is a pilot and he frequently deals with celebrities. His company has all the staff sign NDAs. But my dad usually doesn't even know who the celebrities are unless they've been in the news. He said that Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban are incredibly rude to their own staff. Personal assistants were terrified of them. Benicio Del Toro. He was having lunch at the table next to me and my friends. He must have seen us talking about him because he stood up. Came over to our table. Sat down. 
and ordered a bunch of food. He ended up spending a half hour talking with us. Then he paid the bill. Tipped well. Took some pictures with us. And left. He's the only celebrity I've ever met. So technically he qualifies at the rudest. I met Jimmy Carr in Dublin on the street. He came out a shop door as I was walking by I said to friend is that Jimmy Carr? Which he heard. I met Aaron Hernandez twice. I used to work at a bar in Hartford he frequently went to. Talked to him both times. Was the nicest celebrity I ever met. Just wanted to hang out and have fun. He killed a few people then killed himself in jail when he had a daughter. I'd say that is pretty rude. Tim Duncan former basketball player for the San Antonio Spurs. I met him at a Walgreens pharmacy in San Antonio. I was trying to get batteries but he was getting batteries too. He was in my way. So I said excuse me. Could I just get through really quick? He stopped me mind sentence and said nah. I don't take pictures. Just let me do what I gotta do. My bad. I'm just trying to. Hey. Look. I don't want to take pictures right now so just stop. He left. I got my batteries. The best line you could have said was who do you think you are? Chevy Chase. Saw him at a hotel and as a small 8-9 year old who liked the vacation movies and asked for his autograph. He went off on me verbally and then when my dad came over he went off on him for something f ked up like not raising me right or some shti. Dude's a straight asshole mid-level celebrity in the 80s for a second. I was reading recently that his character in Community. Pierce Hawthorne. Is essentially just Chevy Chase playing himself. He supposedly harassed Donald Glover during his scenes. And made racist comments to try to throw him off. Later. When Donald Glover made a statement saying basically I don't take it personally because I'm a rising star and his is fading. He's just jealous that the spotlight isn't on him. Chevy Chase responded with I'm sorry that he sees me that way. Neil deGrasse Tyson. I worked at the bookstore in college. And would pick up extra shifts working late night events when I had time. NDT was giving a speech. And holding a little meet and greet afterwards. I signed up to run a table selling his books. After his speech. He comes into the hall where I've got my table set up. He comes over. Introduces himself. And asks which of the two books I liked better of his. 20 year old me has no idea who is he and didn't read either book. So I replied I actually haven't read either. I'm just picking up an extra shift for the store. Well then he starts a 2 minutes rant. Berating people my age for not being interested in science. Didn't know who he was. Blah blah blah. He finishes. I gave him a dumb blank stare. And he walked away. Talked down to me in a way that just made me feel like shti. My mom was a waitress in the Dallas area at the early days of wrestling when the WWE was still the WWF. Wrestlers after a show would come to her restaurant and eat there cause it was close to the venue they performed at. She meet a lot of old school famous wrestlers before it was popular. Apparently the ultimate warrior was a real asshole who never tipped. That's the only one she didn't like. I saw Seth Rogen in an elevator once. I nodded to him and he nodded back. He was very friendly. But he's the only celebrity I've met. So I guess that makes him the rudest by default. Just to turn the tables a bit. An old work friend of mine was rude to none other than John Lennon. My friend was about 14 at the time and was best friends with Julian Lennon at a private school in North Wales. John would occasionally ring to see how Julian was doing etc. On this one occasion he was on the phone when my friend was there and asked to speak to his son's best friend. My friend wouldn't come to the phone and said he was fine thanks. Eventually he relented. Gets on the phone. Lennon asks him. Why didn't you want to speak to me? My friend replies. I'm not a fan. I prefer ABBA. Lennon replies oh. Put Julian back on. My wife worked at a hotel for many years and met literally every major celebrity you can think of. She said Snoop was the coolest person she ever met and Bill Clinton was the biggest douche even though I find it hilarious. My wife was walking outside back into the hotel. 
saw Bill instead until she smashed herself in the face with a tree branch. Bill started laughing so hard he was having a hard time standing. The secret service ran over to help her and Bill. Laughing so hard he could barely talk. Told them to leave her because they had to keep walking. Amazingly hilarious. I guess I'm a douche because I found that funny too. Bust Rhymes came into the jersey shop I managed in Atlanta and got pissed off that I didn't have a hat in his size. He called me a dumb FCK, which hurt because I was a huge fan of his going way back to leaders of the new school. Same store. Tyler Perry said he would buy me and sell me after I told him that the on-field 5950 Yankee hat was dark navy blue and not black, even though he demanded a black Yankees hat like they wear on the field. Snoop Dogg. Michael Vick. Terrell Owens. Esp Terrell Owens. And Birdman were cool as FCK. Eminem. I was in Denver once and I was waiting for an autograph with my little brother. It was a really cold and we waited for like 3 or 4 hours. He just said no. Pierce Brosnan. Saw him loading his car up at a farmer's market in Santa Monica. Walked up to him and told him I was a big fan. I didn't ask for a picture or anything. He got into his car and as he was backing up he told me to FCK right off. Maybe I was in the wrong for walking up to him. I was just excited. James Corden said he was the rudest celebrity he encountered too. His story was pretty funny as well. Around 1998. Julia Roberts and Benjamin Bratt stole a cab from me and my girl on a really cold winter day in the West Village. New York City. They were laughing as they drove by. We both gave them a perfectly synchronized middle finger. Which was fun. Dan Aykroyd from the Blues Brothers. He had an extraordinarily high opinion of himself. I've met lots of actors. And some were nicer than others. But he was the only rude one. Dan Aykroyd has a cottage near my hometown and two things most people seem to agree on about him is he is a doucher bag and he's always got some of the best weed around. Heard he's a real creep hitting on younger women often too. Send her Amathabramamathy. The doctor from Heroes. He was not rude at all but he was kinda sketchy. He came into my store asking about international data plans. I didn't recognize him and he slowly began to admit that he was an actor. He kept creeping around the subject like I was going to be a fanboy because he's such a big shit and I was going to tell all my paparazzi friends. I was like neat. But again. He was not rude in the slightest. He may have just been trying to be humble and I would respect that but it wasn't really coming across that way. Quite the opposite. I met Joe from Impractical Jokers in Grand Central. The dude was the f-king man. Mo was deep throating a hot dog so I didn't want to bother him. Comma Mo was deep throating a hot dog. Classic Mo. John Goodman came into my store once. I called him MR. Goodman and he said please. Mr. Goodman is my father. Call me John. Talk to me for like 10 minutes. Told him he was f-king awesome in flight. And then he left. So not rude at all. He was a very pleasant and funny person. But he's the only celeb I've met. So I guess he qualifies. Peter Dinklage and I exchanged dirty looks at the airport. Though he may have been reacting to my grumpy face cause I was in a grumpy mood waiting for my flight to board. I'm going to choose to think that he noticed you being grumpy and decided to mean mug you back in order to cheer you up. I chose this because I really want him to be cool. Met Gary Busey one time. He taught my little brother how to break someone's sternum with a headbutt in our living room. Not rude. Just weird. My brother worked at a very fancy ski resort hotel and celebrities came through there all the time. Kiefer Sutherland apparently was the biggest asshole. But the funniest story I think is that Lars Ulrich used the fake name Bruce Wayne. I sort of imagine he wanted to look like he was being cool and discreet but he didn't actually want to be discreet about his presence so he used the most suspicion provoking fake name. Zezima. Every time I said hi he just logged out. Van Morrison. He's just a shouty rude man. I tried to pick a fight with Sting once. About alternative medicine. 
Turns out he has a great sense of humor and we had a fun argument about it instead. Well. Since plenty of people are mentioning non-rude celebrities they've met. I met Dave Grohl about 4 years ago coming out of a show. I happened to be passing by after said show and we made eye contact for a split second. To my great surprise. He said hello. Asked me if I liked the show. Where I'm from. And even my musical interests. Etc. We talked for a few minutes. I hugged him and we got a picture together. FCK. That man is beautiful. Ronnie Rabke. Front man of falling in reverse. His whole persona is about being a major douche. But I mean holy shit he goes in hard with it. Steven Seagal. I actually walked away from him mid conversation because he's such a twat. I also watched him get laid out at a benefit we attended by RMR. Travis Haley. He also shot some of his koi fish. Keanu Reeves is absolutely the rudest celebrity I've ever met. He's also the nicest celebrity I've ever met. Keanu is the only celebrity I've ever met. I went to a meet and greet with the King's rookies when Hassan Whiteside and Demarcus Cousins were rookies. I remember Hassan being an absolute ass. Making fun of people. Calling them fat and stupid and short. Complete dick. Demarcus, believe it or not, was really nice. He hung out with all the kids. He talked with me and my friend and called us smart and said we had a lot of basketball knowledge. He even jokingly said I knew more than Coach Calipari. Hell. The guy was so nice. I went to a 49ers game. And he was there. He saw me and recognized me and said hi. But Hassan. Literally came up to us and asked Demarcus why he was talking to us and said me and my friend were stupid. He pissed cousins off so much. He left and didn't come back for an hour. He apologized but I could tell some shti was going down between Whiteside and cousins. TL. Dr. Hassan Whiteside is an ass. Demarcus Cousins is really nice. The biggest celebrity I've ever met was probably Ric Flair. Was a pretty nice guy. But he didn't woo. He didn't take me on his jet. He didn't give me a ride in his limo. And he didn't wheel and deal with me. Rude Fka. My old physics teacher used to be an aircraft mechanic in New Jersey that was where celebrities kept their planes to go to New York without dealing with red tape and ridiculous prices. He apparently had the honor of working on Harrison Ford's plane. No. Not when he crashed. It was 20 years or so ago, and prepping it for takeoff. Evidently something was broken on his pre-flight checklist and he had to tell him he couldn't fly for a few hours. I had to tell Han Solo someone broke his Millennium Falcon. And it wasn't even my fault. Guy was understandably pissed. But gave him a $500 tip for fixing it quickly. Said he was a super nice guy. But annoyed at the delay. Surprisingly human moment from an A-lister in his prime. Get overly angry over a delay. Feel bad. Make it up to the employee. Cool story. Edit. It says rudest. Whoops. Sorry. I met Bill Murray when he was getting ready to film Groundhog's Day outside of some local athletic gear store. I was like 9 at the time and I held my hand against my head in amazement at who was walking next to me. He took one look at me and said hey kid. Got a headache? Take an aspirin. Good times. That's not as much rude as it is funny emo. Not a rude celebrity. My brother got to meet Justin Timberlake before a show as my brother worked at an arena. And Justin asked a few guys if they wanted to throw the football around. So for about 20 minutes they all tossed the football around and whenever a boss came to give shti. Justin said hey I asked them. Got a problem? Talked with me and then after 20 minutes or so he said thanks guys that was lots of fun. Go to get ready for the show. Bo Jackson and Chili Davis wouldn't sign my baseball when I was 8. There was nobody else around and they refused. F Kim Pricks. I used to work in a studio that had pretty popular artists stopping in to work. The absolute worst was P Diddy. Dude was a raging asshole to me and every other person working. Tim Allen. I worked at an Apple store that he frequented. 
We all scattered when we saw him come. No one wanted to help him. We'd spend an enormous amount of time assisting him at the genius bar only to have him threaten us with calling Steve Jobs. One of the nicest celebs to come in the store was Robert Morse. Love him. I once saw Michael Showalter on the street in San Francisco probably around 2009 to 2010. I was a huge fan of the state and wet hot American summer so I told him I was a huge fan. He looked me dead in the eyes and said who do you think you are? Talking to me? Full stop. I kinda laughed thinking he was doing a bit but he was dead serious and said no. Don't laugh. I want to know why you feel like you can talk to me. It wasn't in a restaurant where he was with his family or anything. I really got the feeling he thought of himself better than anyone not famous. Ever since then I can't stand anything he's in or produces. Which sucks because he works a lot with one of the nicest celebrities I ever met. Joe Lotruglio who I forget where I met but he talked to me for maybe a half hour about comedy outside a store. Eventually his wife came out of the store and he introduced me to her. He remembered my name which doesn't seem like it'd be a big deal but it made me feel like a million bucks.